Hello there Retromaniacs, this is Andy from Retro Asylum. Today the game I'll be playing is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now this is one of my favourite games ever, it's one of the best arcade games ever in my opinion and probably one of the best 4 player games actually. Um, I really like this game, superb license. Now check out this music. How awesome does that sound? I've got to admit, as licensees go, this probably has to be up there with the best of them. Now, Turtles was huge back in the days, you know. Turtles here in the UK and the US, all around the world, it was Turtle Mania, basically. It was based on the comic book and the cartoon was so popular, actually. It's hard to describe how popular it was. I mean, I must have been about 14, 15, and I was still into my Turtles. I didn't collect the toys, but um, I did watch the cartoon TV show, and this complemented it so well. And I'll tell you a few reasons why this game actually works so well with the license. Well, for a start, Turtles, you know, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, well, in the UK they're Hero Turtles, but um, straight away, you know, you've got four players, four turtles, and it's a scroll and beat em up. And because of ninjas, you know, it works really, really well. Now, one of the other things that I find that actually works really well with this game is... Now, check out the baddies here, the foot soldiers. They were sort of like from the TV show. Now, most scroll and beat em ups, what really, really annoys me is that you always end up fighting the same baddie. Whether it be in Double Dragon, Final Fight, Streets of Rage, it's always the same sort of baddies that show up again. There isn't enough variety. It works well, I guess, in smaller games like Double Dragon, but bigger games like Final Fight you know, and Streets of Rage 2, you always get the same sort of baddies that end up returning and you make it makes you think, well, didn't I kill them or beat the crap out of them earlier on? Are these their brothers or, you know, like, why are they here? But with Turtles, the foot soldiers, they all look the same. You might have had different colour foot soldiers, but that works really well, so you can forgive it for that. <clears throat> now, I do want to apologise. My game playing skills aren't that good on this version because I'm using my crappy um, emulation arc um, control pad. It really doesn't let me move left. It sort of ends up making me move diagonal up uh, towards the left. So it's really, really annoying. So, you know, I'd like to get myself an X Arcade uh, tank stick, the two player one. So I've got to save up my pennies for that. Hopefully, I'll get myself one this year. I've decided I've got to treat myself. But again, what a great use of the license. Most characters from the TV show appeared in this game here, you know, all the baddies. And I love this first level. The first level is so memorable. You know, it's not too difficult where you can get past it enough. And I love the whole escape from the building. And this is the bit where you've got to save April O'Neil. Who can sort of forget April O'Neil on a little yellow jumpsuit there with ginger hair? Now, this game's fantastic. There was a sequel to this that came out in the arcades and on the Super Nintendo, which was Turtles in Time, which, although good, I actually still prefer this. And on the Mega Drive, there was the Hyperstone Heist, which was more like a remix version of the Turtles uh, in Time thing. Equally as good as well. Now, um, there was conversions of this eventually. You know, like we were all disappointed when it came out the 8-bit systems and computers, that, you know, it was the other game. And we wanted the arcade port because the arcade game was so fantastic. Now, I can't remember, guys. Is this just Bebop or Rocksteady? I can't quite remember. It's been a while since I've sort of watched Turtles. Saying that, though, I actually watched Turtles um, not that long ago. I was watching Turtles Forever, which featured a few different generations of the turtle in some sort of, like, um, interdimensional thing from um, one of the Shredders who tried to destroy the universe. Really good cartoon that I highly recommend. But again, I can't um, emphasize how good this game is, especially if you play it in four-player mode. It's also available on Xbox, so definitely check that out on the 360. But there's just something about playing this in the actual arcade, you know. Four people side by side. I guess it can be emulated if you've got the 360 version, you can sit next to each other. But anyway, guys, that's me rounding this episode up. Um, don't forget to check out our website, RetroAsylum.com, and don't forget to check out our podcast every Friday. See you guys next time. Turtle Power.